Okay, so we're going to do the Prince of Persia quests. Um, I have cleaned out my inventory as promised in the last video. So now, like, look at this. Get a few, um, get a couple items, but for the most part, like, it's all been sold or dismantled. Also upgraded most of my gear as well, except for the legendary, because that's it's like five thousand to upgrade these. I might just do it anyway. I just I don't like the way they look. I really really don't. If I could like wear this appearance but have these benefits, it'd be great. But unfortunately, no. You there? You have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. Fine. You need it more than me. Here, take it. A generous gift. Thank you. What do they call you, stranger? <laughs> the messenger of Zeus. I'm Alexios. And you? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian. But I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? Sure. I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus and Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious mound Taigetos. Where? Tell me what you know about its great boat. Stood ready to... I've been... Oh yeah, I saw that. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians no peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. Oh, only you, yes. Out of all the Persian Empire, Just only you. I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. So there's a price on your head. Now I'm interested. There was. Though there isn't any more. Damn. Now then, tell me another tale, and I'll tell you more of my past. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Oh, yeah, I saw that too, apparently. No, I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. Oh, that makes she sense. High above everything. On guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia have known. He was also the man. Hired to kill me. A killer of kings. Hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. Because he's a prince of Persia. The Acrocorinth? Don't tell me. 
It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. Haven't seen it. You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say that. Uh, that's <laughs> not exact. What Armored do you bird. Remember about this a beast made of armor, jutting out from. Okay. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen. Epaphras says it was written by Themistocles, the Athenian general. This papyrus is so old. Could this be writing by Themistocles? Where's my stuff? Corinthia, Arcadia, Laconia. So I won't be doing this the rest of this quest anytime soon. Yeah. Let's move on. I don't have anything else. I have more more of that. That never ends, apparently. I can't do that yet. I guess we'll do Pericles' Symposium. I tried grinding, uh, didn't, didn't quite work out. I'm still one level below the uh, recommended. So yeah. So if you cleave a ship in half, so it's better to cleave a ship in half. Unless you're like me and you're playing on Nightmare and your ship is just dying. It's like, oh, I need to, I need to board them to give my ship some frickin' peace. <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't do the bike, he just grabs it with his hands. Okay, he's fine. He's not human, he's fine. At least there aren't any more uh, rooftop guards. Can I, can I come in? Okay. Wait for some daylights. Alexios, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back, but I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a draft me for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer, so I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby, but every once in a while something feels familiar. What are you it's doing nice. in this house? I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's like, so this house specifically, of, like, the... What are you doing here? The father of I democracy's house. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? 
for Pericles. No, for Aspasia. Who? How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I will not. There's no way I'm wearing that. But if you don't... I mean it, Phoebe. You have to leave your weapons here, though. Fine. Oh, um... no. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. What's this? Oh, if I, if I, the reason I said no was because I didn't want to leave my weapons. You just got here. You can't leave already. Whatever. Here, Alexios, the mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus, Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? Perhaps you're... Individual fashion sense will get their memories working. Now then, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of the <laughs> so give me that wine. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> that was the most fake looking laugh. He looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. 
Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. What? Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you <laughs> think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes then just it's not a party unless i've killed the whole fort first place thank you Herodotus. now if you'll excuse me pericles is here somewhere and i need to prepare i thought he doesn't attend his own parties what i'll tell him what your sister said agreed pericles needs to know i'll stay here and look for clues i hope they know something about your mother i'll, I'll trust this guy me too Uh, just follow these diamonds. You. Amistios? Here? I suppose they've sent you to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Pedis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous. Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> no, you don't. He's like, what? I don't know, guys. Sounds like he's speaking Greek to me. Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? You want to get every Pedis drunk? Are you hoping he's going to make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one. To say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every piece, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every piece. I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess. Okay. And I hold a bond deeper. Okay, blah, 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 blah. The wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly, delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Olive oil. You, you shouldn't be in here. What do you want? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. <laughs> Amistios and Pericles is a bow. Okay, this is the right guy. All right. I never thought I'd see the day. You must have seen me doing my impression of Hermipos. I call it the dejected weasel. <laughs> Tell me, what does it think? 
Don't call me it. If you just call me it. Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Alexios. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. Drink up. Conjure Dionysus, shall we? What was that evil look? <laughs> this, this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round. Ready for more? This reminds me of, uh, like Mass Effect 2. Like drinking from the Turian bartender. Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could out drink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? <laughs> this wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every piece, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. Ah, he's yes. Best of the best. He's the Hippocratic best ghost man. In Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. Blah, 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 blah. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for an... Yes. Drink up. Uh... What's next? Out of my way. Someone's being hurt. Open this door, or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Look at you. Such authority, such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard oh my God. to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I <laughs> <laughs> the look on Alexios' face is just like, oh no. 
And right when he like touched him, he's like, oh god. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. Here. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? No. Now it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Hetera? I've heard they play some sort of. I don't know what Hetera is. I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Okay. Let's talk to you. Ah, here comes the one who claims to value Drachme over the noble path that leads to knowledge. Yes. Like I told you, knowledge can't feed me. But the mind must be fed as well. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You've been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I mean, it depends on the government. Like a, a dictator like North Korea, that's all about themselves. But, hmm, I don't like my options here. Uh, I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men. What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. This man is infuriating. You're wasting your time. Aspasia.
I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. What, what work? I did what I had to, and I do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we have to to survive, and there's no shame in that, believe me. Hmm. You make an interesting choice, Alexios, in not dressing to fit in. Fit in? Fancy clothes wouldn't help me fit in. Your Athenian hitons are strange to me. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know <sighs> Alexia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. He is up there. Well... Ah, oh, I was just gonna climb the... Climb the pillar. Maybe, I, maybe this one I can. Nope, not here. Alexios. I don't recall sending for you, Miss Theos. Phoebe shouldn't have let you in here. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. Ah, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to escape. Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found. Ah, so... So when it comes to people you care about, the law can be bent if not broken. I know he's delusional, but... One day when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? 
Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send Meteochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. <laughs> By yes, the way. Yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. And that's how they win. Related to one of the cult members. And I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Leave the symposium. Ah, can't just parkour down. <laughs> Shover. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Ah, uh, sure. There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! A cultist clue. Ah, I'm level 16. Hooray. Alright, so what we got? Hmm. <sighs> Athenian war hero gauntlets. Oh my god, it's level 19. Oh, can't do anything there. Level 19, level 17. Man, let's do that one.